Hey everyone, how's it going? As you know, we're working on a new launch pad and launch controller project. Currently, we're working on the launch pad unit, and in our previous video, we worked and we introduced our printed circuit board for the launch pad unit. You guys can check that out. There's a link in the description and card in the upper right hand corner. But in this video, we want to go over the building process of the actual launch pad, the woodworking, all the wiring, and all the special components that are working inside the launch pad. Unfortunately, the, all the parts going together take so long that we're going to have to split it up into two or three videos. So this is part one of the building the launch pad um, series, I guess, the series within a series. So let's jump right into it. So before we get into any building or anything like that, let's quickly just go over some of the features that we put into this uh, launch pad. I know I went into a lot of them during the previous video of the printed circuit board overview, but I just wanted to go over them quickly again. So one of the main features are the new servo clamps. It's the first time trying this out. Um, it's kind of based off of the T0 system design, so thanks so much for uh, letting me use that, by the way. But um, these are going to be used for future thrust vector control rockets. Don't quite know if I'm going to do that yet or we're going to do that yet, but um, in case we do, we want to be able to use this launch pad further down in the future. Since like the past two years, we've been using um, different launch pads, building them because they always just become outdated and they're just not good enough. We want this one to be used for a very long time, which is why we made it really modularable. Is that even a word? I don't know, modular, so we can slap on different components based on the type of rockets we're going to launch off of it. Furthermore, um, we also have these four LEDs around the corner. We'll go over them a bit more in depth. These are going to be used as just a countdown display. And then, of course, we got the usual basics like the uh, seven segment display to show the countdown. and the wireless transceiver that way we can um, communicate back and forth with a controller another really cool feature we're adding to this launch pad is the um, load cell inside the main like the main body of the um, launch pad again you'll see that in just a bit this launch pad is also going to um, work as a model rocket motor test stand so it's not really a launch pad it's more like a ground complex type of thing but um, it's going to have a load cell and we're going to be able to do rocket motor tests since our printed circuit board has the capabilities to do that. So that's a really cool feature. Can't wait to try that out. So th those are just a quick rundown of the features, but let's go into the build. So this launch pad actually has two parts that we um, need to kind of build. So down here we have this like kind of section here. This is going to hold the load cell and everything. So we're going to have to start with this. And that's what we're about to get into and then like the stack here and all the servos so let's start all the way at the bottom in this dark corner of our launch pad and start building it so um we have this 3d printed load cell on here i've attached it to this bottom section so we have a slider which will um this will just kind of let us be able to adjust the launch rod just a bit um because the drill hole is not going to be really accurate and the launch rod is kind of going to be what's going to be uh um, driving this load cell. Don't know if that's quite going to work. If it doesn't, that's too bad, but only one way to find out. So now we just need to solder wires, make these wires longer, and connect them up to the um, printed circuit board. So let's get started. So the load cell goes through these wires right into our printed circuit board and um, now I've just checked the resistances, they seem correct. We can now upload some code to see if this whole uh, thing is working. So let's go ahead and do that. <sighs> so right when I was about to upload the code to the load cell, I quickly checked the wires and I yanked the wires out of the load cell because those things are so dang fragile. So I just ordered a new one. Um, hopefully it'll come soon, but for now we won't be able to test a load cell, which kind of sucks. But luckily, these LED things that I put on here uh, may or may not have been inspired by Joe Barnard's <laughs> launch pad. Um, those are all wired up and I can actually test these. So I have a bit of allergies here, but um, 
we can go ahead and see if this works. So I just put on a simple bleak, blinking um, um, software up here. It's super simple. So how about we give that a test since the load cell went out. So let's see. All right, looking good. It's kind of bright, so there we go. One, two, three, and four. I originally had printed circuit boards that would actually hold these LEDs. I really didn't like them. They were too much of a pain, so I just ended up soldering wires to an SMD LED. We can see the relay clicking along there, but at least this works, so that's good. Now that we finished all this, we're gonna now have to put these servo clamps that I designed on. So let me quickly go over these because they're kind of a uh, design that I borrowed from somebody. So let's kind of go over these. So these are the servo clamps. Um, I designed these uh, a while back. It was based off of the design from um, T0 Systems um, and BPS Space. They're kind of different. You can see they have their differences. But you probably know how it works. The servo there, you can kind of see, pushes that little um, yellow um, pin out of the way. And then a spring is attached to the blue part, which opens that up, which allows the rocket to um, be released. Um, it's completely 3D printed, which is really nice. There are some tweaks I kind of want to figure out before, but yeah, it's a pretty nice and consistent design. So we're going to have to print these and then implement them into our launch pad. So I want to know how fast these clamps can open. So using Hooke's Law, I was able to find that the springs um, would store 0.047 joules of elastic potential energy. Now we can use conservation of momentum to find that these clamps actually open at 9.65 meters per second. So that's super fast and that is good. That's going to be it for this video guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, make sure you check out all the links in the description, like our Patreon, our Facebook, everything like that. Big shout out to the patrons that do support us. Couldn't do it without you. But thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. But other than that, have a great day.